After the death of Tipu Sultan, many soldiers and people opposing the British rule protested the British. These armed rebellions in 19th century were led by a brave rebellion called Dondia Vag, who was born in a Maratha family of Chennagiri and he was called Vag, which means tiger for his bravery. In the beginning, he was a soldier in Hyderali's army and later became the military general. He fought supporting Tipu Sultan by building his own private army. But due to the difference of opinions between Tipu and Dondia Wog, he was imprisoned by Tipu Sultan and later British released him after the Fourth Anglo-Mysore War. After coming back, he built a small army including unhappy soldiers from Tipu Sultan's army and some rulers who lost their power due to the British. With these combined armies, he captured Bidinur and Shivamogga forts but failed while trying to capture Chitradurga fort. Knowing all this, Lord Wellesley planned an attack on Shivamogga, Honnalli, Harihara and other places under the control of Dondia. Dondia lost all these regions. After losing even Shikaripura region, Dondia ran away near Gutti, which was mainly controlled by the Nizam of Hyderabad. Very soon, when Nizam's army attacked Gutti, again Dondia ran towards Maratha region, where he was finally captured along with his horses, camels and arms. Even after this, Dondia was brave and continued his war against the British. Many unhappy Palegars also started supporting Dondia. Palegars are the military governors selected by mainly Vijayanagara Empire, Madurai Nayakas and the Kakatiya dynasty. Along with Palegars, later French also started to support Dondia. But British who were following Dondia in many places like Harihara, Chitradurga, Shikaripura, Savanuru, Rani Banur and Kittor took over Shirhati region and killed many followers of Dondia Wog. Dondia captured Shikaripura fort back from the British. Seeing these developments, Lord Wellesley planned an attack from all the directions against Dondia army near Tungabhadra and Malaprabha. Finally, when Dondia left Raichur, he was caught by Marathas and Nizam's army and finally British attacked and killed him at Kunigal. After the death of their leader, Dondia's followers divided and scattered. British finally captured large amount of arms which are weapons and ammunitions like bullets and shells from Dondia.